Man, I have noticed it's so hard to stay on track or consistent when I'm over here in Arlington. But guys, get ready for day number two. Hey, Tay. Hey. Can I say it right? Yep. Can I borrow you real quick? Sure. Hey, what's up with you throwing uh, gummy bears and gums yesterday? That was not, you started that one. Actually, no. You flinged one and it hit me right in my head. And then I told you, did that whole little move where you're like. Where you throw something, you're like. <laughs> like, we caught you like red handed. I had bro. to. So how are you enjoying the Arlington show? Love it. Girls, could you stay no. still? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Right, I love it. I'm not good on the camera. Love it. That, Let's go back. Is that what it is? Love it. Is that what it is? Stop. I'm blushing. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you very much. Bye. So before we start showing some of the reptiles off, we're about to show some of the best artwork you guys will ever, ever see. Check this stuff out. You know what else is really cool about them is that they actually donated one of the paintings yesterday for the U.S. Ark that raised nine thousand dollars, or was it eight thousand dollars? What was it? Eight thousand dollars. I was right. Oh, you know what? They're right here. But yeah, they always donate some awesome paintings. So, do you guys want to tell us a little bit about this real quick? I mean, there's the artist right there. I can explain these paintings. These are two pieces I did when I got back from Costa Rica last year. These are called Broadbill Martma. They are alarming the rest of the forest of the snake turtle lands there. So it's kind of a interaction of nature nice and that's and this is the yellow-headed gecko of course it's a lighting i wanted to capture with that and it's a, it's a pretty fast moving animal but it, to get capture that light it was just a perfect situation there all right so now we're about to get all the information where you guys can check out these beautiful paintings and you're going to tell us where you can go on gominirotnavera.com and just make an appointment we would love to have you visit the gallery have a cup of tea and you guys have uh, instagram we do our instagram is at Comedy Rot Awesome. Thank you guys very, Thank you much. very much. Oh my gosh. Guess who I finally ran into? None other than Montana. And could you please show us your awesome belt? So this belt is pretty expensive. This is actually a platinum tiger head white. Perfect, perfect snake for Dude. me. <laughs> and guys, you guys need to go check out her page, man. It is awesome. You want to talk about reptiles, guns, modeling. I mean, this girl does it all, man. Look at that, so sick. Awesome, Montana, nice to finally meet you. Nice to Sweet. meet you. All right, guys, so the first breeders we're gonna check out is none other than Jack and Heidi, and this time I got it right, but you guys wouldn't know because I didn't have the volume on last time, so we have to redo this again. But Heidi is the one that actually made that awesome Yoda that cost me a couple of dollars, but how long did it take you to make that? It was 60 hours. Wow, 60 hours, that's pretty crazy. Yep. <laughs> now, Jack, real quick, I have to reenact this again. What do you have planned for me today? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do me wrong, Jack. Don't do me wrong, bro. Jack is just hoping that at the end of the day that he doesn't get death threats why? from someone's wife. Well, Harry's wife? Not no. not Harry's wife. Turtle's but, gonna be. But why? What's going on? Because you're getting on a two thousand pound bull. Okay. I mean, I mean, what do you think? How long I'm gonna last on it? Honestly. Point three seconds. So me thinking I'm gonna do thirty seconds is like too maybe much? the second or third time. Really? Yeah. yeah. Less than but, two seconds. But you guys seen how strong I am, though, right? I'm like Jack Strong. Well, Jack, okay, not that strong. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but Jack, real quick, really, could you show some of your snake stuff real quick? Absolutely. Man? We'll start with how about this guy? Yeah. All right, right. So what do we have so, right here? This is an inchy orange dream trick. Oh my god, I think it's beautiful. It's man. also het hypo, but this is we just started getting into the trick to kind of get it into some different stuff to see what it's, we can do with it. Nice. You know, everybody knows that uh, NG Orange Dreams usually very reduced pattern. So the trick actually brought quite a bit of pattern back into it. But Dude, the colors on this thing is freaking but crazy we're still, too. Yeah, we're still keeping the colors, but we're adding to the pattern. Nice. So we really like how that turned out. So next we'll do this guy here. This has been the sh everybody's favorite here at the show. It's the Blackhead Mystic Cinnamon Bongo. 
Dude, that thing is clean, man. So put a couple wow. snakes together. I've never seen the pairing, never seen the combo. Figured we'd see what it turned out like. Wow. We're and gonna add some more dark into it and try to pull some black down into the side. That thing is beautiful, man. We were not disappointed. Yeah. Hey, since, since I have a group of you guys there, real quick, what do I have to do to be able to join like your guys' crew? I always call you guys you the Texans. You gotta get the full eight seconds on the first try. Oh, well, I guess I won't be a part of the group. Callie, here we come. Bye, guys. <laughs> so this is a snake. It's a project we kind of been working on. We call it our shadow project. It's oh, a dark, there we go. It's a dark project, and this is just the shadow and GHI together. It has no yellow belly in it? No yellow belly. This is only shadow and GHI. You know what's crazy, man? Kind of looks a little like strangerish a little bit. Too, a little huh? bit. I've been told that. Um, I've looked at some of the other combos. It is a little bit different, but wow. there is some similarities as well, but it's not really the same thing. Well, Jack, so. man, I want to tell you, man, thank you again, man. Not only for always showing us love over here, but dude, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? Would it be Facebook, Instagram, or do you guys Both. have a website? Facebook. Both. All three. Facebook, Southern Star Reptiles on Facebook and Southern Star Rep on Instagram. Yep. Dude, love you guys, man. Seriously, thank you. Thank you. Guys. Austin. I'm not even worth video. So man. every every time I'm I do like a vlog, now. I want to get like a 30 second pastel time. Yeah. And could you give us your thoughts on pastel? What do you think is the next step for pastel to become the next big thing? Well, and we're trying to prove out the super form of it right now. So. Oh, no, super form of pastel? Yeah, super. Uh, we're, we're looking to try and maybe make some this year. Uh, I've been breeding for it. Uh, I missed on it last year, but I'm really hoping that we're going to make it. I this hope year. you get it, man. So you think pastel? are going to climb back up to the top, right? I'm hoping so. With that, you know, I'm trying to get Kabilka in on it and uh, a few of the others to see if they want to branch out some. Uh, you know, I can get them on board. And we might... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're going to ask me for a picture? They're going to want to be on my vlog? Yeah, no. That is jacked up. I get a little shy. No, just see what I do. Just a little shy. So what do you have right there? Um, I bought Jeff and Heidi's uh, female pastel GH last. So can we see that real quick? I mean, come on. We, everybody wants to see snakes. I was like, Heidi already wrapped her up. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Here's what we'll go like fast forward. Dun, 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 dun. I see it. There we Dang, go. There we go. Oh, it's a big girl. A big mama. Wow. Dude, that is so awesome. What did you say it was? A pastel GHI? Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Are you going to be breeding her? We will be. Ooh, what are you going to put her? Um, It depends what he wants to put her with. We have a leopard pastel at the moment that we, she might go with, and we have a couple of other things as well. We got, what other couple of other things? We, we got a new purse. Cinnamon, Mojave, Red Stripe, it's Fire, Sire that Dude. I put Yeah, a hundred percent. Like yeah. that's it. Done. Yeah, for perfect. Sure. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Now I'm moving over to Santiago at Eye Candy Mora, and you guys are about to see some of the craziest desert ghost combos. Santiago does some amazing, amazing stuff. And as you guys know, I am going to be doing the bull riding thing. Hopefully, I do really good. But my buddy over there, Jesus, ven para acá. Te voy a poner la cámara bien rápido. Hey, tú, tú, cómo se dice montas a toros de profesional, verdad? So ellos están diciendo que voy a ser yo como Un segundo en el toro. ¿Qué crees que tú? Qué, qué, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Qué largo? Qué, how long of a time? ¿Qué, ¿Cuánto crees que puedo durar yo en el toro? Sí, yo. ¿Cuánto crees que puedo yo durar en el toro? Maybe cinco segundos. Cinco. Ah, oh, sí, bad. Gracias, 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 gracias. ¿Y tú, Santiago? De verdad, cuánto? Hey, you hey, hell eight. yeah. Let's do this. All right, Santiago. Let's check out this awesome stuff, brother. <laughs> And again guys, it's gonna be eye candy more and you guys are about to get blown away with all this amazing stuff that he has And again, man, he has one of the nicest setups up here. The colors. I mean, it's just amazing. All right, Santiago Let's get this man. How you doing? So this here I produced this is basically a it's a orange dream Fire leopard spot nose desert ghost. Wow, man. That is crazy. Dude. This is one of my first visual males to produce It took me four years. That's right. You were saying that four years, right? To actually produce a visual male. Everything was female. Dude, that's so crazy. Yeah, that's dude. That's a powerhouse right there, man. And then I also produce it's a chocolate orange dream desert ghost. I love that one right there, man. The chocolate, it's so dark, man. Like on yeah. the black on it. And you can see the Dude, that is just epic, dude. And another one in the light color. Like I mean, I've been working with a lot with hurricane stuff. And this one, I believe, is going to shed, so you won't even be able to pick yeah. up its true colors. So this is a pastel disco hurricane yellow belly double head hypo clown possible head oh rainbow. Oh my gosh, <laughs> bro, that's a mouthful of stuff right there, bro. <laughs> but if you can see, you can even see here it's got a little emoji. Oh yeah, that's right, dude. That's that's badass, man. And All right, I, so we're about to see like, the dark stuff, right? I don't have any visual dark stuff, but I have heads. So basically, this is a leopard spot nose hurricane head desert ghost. Wow. You can see it made it uh, darker, intensified the pattern, 
Yeah, you and did the a crazy belly. And the hip part influences oh, all that stuff, right? Yes. So you insane. You can see a beautiful belly. And then this is just a uh, hurricane spot nose. That, that's her ghost. Dude, that is just amazing, man. And so, yeah, real quick, man, let me get you in the light over here. What's the best place for people to reach out to you? Would it be on your Facebook, Instagram, website? What would it be? On uh, Instagram and Facebook. And this is I Candy Morphs? I Candy Morphs. Dude, Santiago, again, man, I really appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. So, guys, I'm over here at Royal Authority over here. And, you know, as you guys know, I'm going to be riding the bull today. And a lot of people have no faith in me of going, you know, over eight seconds. So, what did you say I would do? I mean, I think maybe, like, six. Damn. Maybe eight. <laughs> it's like six to eight. It's tricky. It is. I mean, I mean you really don't think I could do it? No, I think you can. But what I about think... 20 seconds? Uh-uh. <laughs> I mean, they, at least you're on. Yeah, at least you're on. Hey, guys, I actually bought some pretty cool hats. I bought this one, and I bought... Where's oh. the teal one? Did I get the last teal one? Dead. Oh, that's cool. It looks like this, but blue. It looks like that in blue. It's actually here, but I'm not going to show you guys until I give it to my kids. But guys, thank you very much, man. Then yeah. let's check out some of your beautiful stuff. And I love that you guys always have sunset stuff. You guys know that I'm like well invested in you. Ruined my life. There we go. <laughs> but as always, man, you guys have some amazing stuff. And what's the best way to contact you guys for all your stuff? Is it Instagram? Is it a website? Facebook? You can find us on Instagram or Facebook. Yeah, both. Of them. What's the best one? Everyone the always says one. Facebook. I mean, I feel like we're Facebook more often. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, every ball python person I is know. Facebook. I know. So we're going to try to do Instagram more. I would say I would say Instagram. All right, Instagram us. All right. And I will respond. Well, guys, as you guys can see my shirt right here, what does that say? None other than snake eyes. So maybe we could, you know, bother someone over here and they can show us a couple of snakes. So we'll see. You look very busy, but I was wondering if, you know, we always like to do some cool stuff with you guys, you know, show off, you know, some of your beautiful stuff like up there. But uh, could you give us a little tour of your new display of soaps? So we started doing homemade soaps and bath bombs. So you're done with ball pythons? No more, just soap. No. We are absolutely still joking. doing ball pythons. That is not going away anytime soon. This is just what I do in the little bit of free time that I have. Well, we have full-size bath bombs and we offer the little mini bath bombs. And we bring these to pretty much every show we've been. So if you guys have any special requests, then we can definitely bring what you want us to bring. And then we do the full-size and mini soaps as well. Now, you make all this all yourself? Yes. That is so cool. Yes. Now, of course, I have to bug you to show off some cool snakes. You know that, right? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, he stiffens up on me every time I touch him. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Little dramatic right he's now, a dramatic one now is this a pied i really want to show you his head so he is at least a possible head pie that's the only thing i know for sure but i've had some people think that he is a visual pie that's i his mean pattern he, is just crazy it looks it for sure that is beautiful so what what is this a uh, spot nose Od orange? leopard spot nose pause head pied Wow. So his siblings look nothing like that. He just turned out with really crazy color, really crazy pattern, and a whole lot of white. That is awesome. So he's worth messing around with for sure. Oh, for sure. This one's a bit of a mouthful. It's a super pastel lesser leopard clown. So whenever wow. she hatched out, she was white. So she sticks her head out of the egg, and I'm like, holy crap, how did we get a leucistic? But then she, as she got bigger, she started coloring up. So Can you she's just got... imagine how she's going to look when she gets older? Right. That's going like, to be She's sick. really cool. She's my favorite clown that we made this year. Let me take a guess on this one. But let me look at the label first. Nope. <laughs> Black pastel lavender. And? Uh, leopard? Yep. Oh, Good job. thank God. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, this thing is freaking amazing, man. Where are you guys taking this thing? What's the next step you guys are going to go with this one? We've got some plans for him. Probably some inchy stuff, and I'm not going to say what else, but... Dang, I was trying to, to see be if determined. I get that. Yeah, they did me kind of dirty right there, huh, Harry? Just a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit, right? Got a little secret, so, I guess, you know. <laughs> but guys, real quick, so what's the best way to reach you guys? Is it going to be your Instagram or Facebook? I keep on asking everybody, but, you know, like, everyone keeps on saying Facebook. Would you guys say you guys work with Facebook more, or is it... Definitely Facebook is more popular for us. I mean, we get on Instagram all the time too so really either way i mean you can message us through the website you can call us text us whatever and it's all I mean, snake eyes like, exotics right yeah and for the and soap is that linked too. up as well for the same uh same stuff right now it's linked to snake eyes yes perfect uh, guys as always man really really appreciate it man you guys. you guys are the best well it's about time sunshine what's cooking good so, looking so real quick uh you know now that i have you know jason and you know jared over here jason real quick um yeah do you want to shout out your stuff, bro, to make sure everyone go check out your YouTube channel, your Instagram, and I heard you're going to become a big TikToker now, too, right? There you go. So we okay. just got on TikTok. We're already on Instagram. Everybody knows Instagram. JH Pythons. I've actually seen the shirt in a couple videos. I'm not going to lie, dude. I always, cool. I always rock your stuff, man. Yeah, and I, I see you've it. always seen it, dude. Exactly. YouTube, we put out content once a week. We're all over Instagram. We I heard just you're thinking of going twice a week now. Is that true? Or did I just throw that on you? I don't know, man. If you're, if you're calling that a challenge, then I don't know. Maybe challenge accepted. <laughs> Awesome, brother, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. You guys go follow him, please. He's yep. going to be doing some giveaways as well. Speaking
Speaking of giveaways, come on, brother. So what's the yes. deal? Okay. We get you to 1,000, right? I'm trying to get to 1,000 okay. followers on Instagram. Once we get to 1,000 followers, I'll be giving away a pastel leopard spot nose head clown male. Which is basically a Batman. They hit Batman, head what they Batman. call it, right? That's the first but, one. That's which is big, giveaway. which is big. The next Second one. giveaway, give me to 5,000 followers. I'm giving away a head sunset female. Did, not only a head sunset, but it's a female. Who puts females up there for giveaways? You guys know. Like, yeah. I'm just, I'm crazy. Is it going to prove out? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, thanks, brother, man. Yeah, man. Make sure you guys go check out Elevate Exotics LLC. Yes. And go give them a follow. So, guys, I'm over here at the Reptile Show, and if there's one way of enjoying the Reptile Show, it's the way these guys are doing it up right now, man. Sure. So, guys, besides drinking a couple of cold ones, have you guys bought anything? You guys thinking of buying anything? Thinking about buying a banana pie. Nice. What about you, man? I'm here with him. It's my first Reptile Show, so I'm just enjoying dude, the scenery. If you have a couple more of Check those, dude, you'll buy a lot of stuff. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, man. Appreciate seeing you guys, man. Later. Hey, real quick, show some stuff. Girl, come here. Why come on. Do this to me? Come on. I know you're a pro at this. We see your pose. I mean, if you guys want to go check out some cool stuff, make sure you guys go check out Nerd Herb right there. So, is it Herb Nerd or Nerd Herb? Herb, Herb Nerd. Nerd. I knew that. This by far is the best purchase I've seen so far over here at the show. Whew, you guys ready for this? Holy hell. What is this right here? Is it Dwarf Cayman? Oh my gosh, man. Is he pretty nippy? No. No. Really no. Got him. Wait, are you serious? That yeah. is so freaking cool, man. You gotta keep him nice now. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Dude, that is honestly the best person I've seen at a show, like hands yeah. down. Usually they're really crappy, but they've been working with him, so he's pretty good. Hey, you wanna shout out your Instagram again as always? Because I mean, we're collecting all these awesome animals. I mean, people gotta go follow you, man. Or else you're not gonna reptiles? be on my Instagram no more. Lottery reptiles. Girls, as always, man, it's always a pleasure watching you guys and seeing you guys, you man. Too. Thank Seriously, you. you guys are awesome. Thank you. I thought I had a visual leopard. So, Alyssa, how are you guys? Good, Can I you borrow guys? you guys for a few seconds? Me? Both of you. How you feeling? Let's change the subject on Harry here. So come on, come on, come on, come on. I heard you're going to start a YouTube channel. Uh, I don't know about that. I think you are. And I also heard you want to lay some hands on me too. I mean, yes. oh damn girl, I was just, you called my bluff out. Let's go. Do you want to show some of Tom's awesome snakes over here? So we give Tom an awesome shout out because we know he always brings all the fire. Tom, we love <laughs> you. Girl. As always. <laughs> all right, yeah. let's do this. Now, is it Chimera, Chimera? What, what's the you right know, way of calling it? I call it Chimera. chimera I think see, some people say yeah. Chimera, but I, in my genetics classes, they used to call it Chimera. Wow. Now, I don't think there's any way to know whether this is Chimera or Paradox. Well, I'm going to uh, say, I'm going to take your word for it, and I'm going to just call it what you call it, okay. just because it just sounds better. Let's go with Chimera, oh, right? Chimera. That sounds very scientific. Yeah. So, very professional, right? But it's still a, a really crazy snake, regardless. You, what was the breeding that you know, made this thing? Okay, this came from a visual dreamsicle female, bred oh, to yeah. my banana double head dreamsicle male. Oh, wow. So, I was hoping for the banana dreamsicle, and this is the best I did, so I'm I guess I'm a lie. failure, I right? I think this was probably a little bit better <laughs> just on the eyes. I mean... Now, if we wanted to do one more, I think just... Uh, I was going to go two more. I mean, some Monarch, and you said uh, Monarch G-Stripe, right? Yeah, Monarch G-Stripe. Um, so, the single gene Monarch looks like this, which is a very dark, contrasty-ish ultra male, although it's not ultra male. Have they seen if they're compatible or not, or no? There's been one breeding done, so I don't know if that's enough to say no, but originally... I would say it's a little different, man. It's almost a little darker on the colors. It's very different. Yeah. I've got side-by-side -side pictures and it's... Of, of several animals, and they look like two different things. Nice. But oh you, my gosh, this thing is You throw G-stripe on it, this is what you get. Which I think is an incredible animal. Love that head. Wow, that thing is amazing, man. Dude, Tom, you produce some awesome stuff, man. Thank it's you. pretty cool. You got some like okay helpers now. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. At least they're cheap, you know. Yeah, yes, <laughs> that's true. All right, so you're gonna send me a shirt? Is that what you were telling me? No, you're gonna send me a shirt. Okay, what actually, size are you? <laughs> actually, hand, hand deliver it. Done. Tenley. Yeah. Wait, but then here's my problem with this. We were supposed to have some drinks. We we're supposed to party. I heard you're like an awesome party animal, and that didn't happen. So I mean, could we do a little trade? A couple of beers, hand. Delivered. Delivered, Tinley. I'm gonna hold you to that. Deal? Uh, Deal. Shake on it. I got out of school. All right. Again, guys, we're over here with the man himself, David Levine, the guy that doesn't need no hooks, none of that stuff to open some of his bins because he's so. Ma <laughs> you want to tell us a little about your hooks? So it's got a square tip, keeps you from having to bend over too much. So is it, it's because you have uh, king cobras and all these like venomous snakes, right? Yeah, copperhead. I mean, you name it. 
No ball pythons, right? No. Yeah. It's weak. So make sure, go check out his Instagram because I'm telling you, he has no like ball pythons. I mean, everything's venomous. That's why he has those hooks. You gotta see it. Yeah. Bro, it's just a few couple, it was just a couple of seconds because I saw you guys, man. It happened. Where'd you grab this at? Just the booth on the other side of the curtain. Just someone right random? Yeah. This is literally what you said you wanted to get, yeah. dude. What the hell, man? I know, man. Yeah, I, I wish it worked like that for me when I said I'm gonna get something. Really? Dude, that thing's beautiful. I would have rather it than pattern white, pattern white, pattern. But yeah, that thing's beautiful, man. Right here. <laughs> Dude, thanks for sharing that, off, brother. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So you guys have seen a scaleless snake before. You guys are about to see a scaleless pied, man. Check this beautiful thing out. All right, brother. So what do we have right here? A uh, scaleless pied. That super is super colorful. Is insane, man. Is that the first one you hatched? Or you hatched a couple more. Nope, I've hatched one. We hatched the first one ever it was uh, about a year, a little over a year ago. And then uh, there's a gentleman in Canada hatched one here about four or five months ago. So this is the third one I know of. The second one we've hatched. Dude, that thing is freaking beautiful, man. Yeah, he is really cool. So what is this again? On uh, my left, I guess you're right in the video is uh, Typhoon Ghost. So Typhoon's another gene I've been working with, but essentially Ghost is what everyone really likes, and that's uh, an azanthic hypo. Wow. Uh, this is a VPI line, and just a hypo next to it kind of for comparison which Dude, most people that is call insane. A, a ghost yeah. most people call that a true ghost but so what is it is it hypo or ghost i always get made fun of if i say so, ghost i get made fun of. if i say hypo it's like no it's a ghost well so <laughs> most ball python people call this a ghost but every other old school people and every other species and boas and milk snakes and corn snakes it's a hypo and a hypo mixed with an anery or an azanthic has always been called a ghost so all the other species this would be a ghost well there you ball have pythons, it you got to call it a true ghost because they call this a ghost so many times i'll never refer to this as a ghost i always call it a hypo that's what i say yeah. well dude and another question is like what's the best way for people to get in contact with you for all your snakes man would it be facebook instagram is it a website baileyreptiles.com is the website we're bailey reptiles on instagram and Perfect. bailey reptiles on youtube well dude there you guys have it man go check out this guy's stuff man he has some amazing stuff okay i'm gonna, okay. Need, I'm gonna need a drum so roll check this, this out one. all right here it is here we go Holy hell, man. See, and I think these pied versions are way better than ball python versions. Oh, and I'm, and I'm a ball yes. python guy. But, dude, they this are. does not get any better. And I'm pretty sure I saw one that had like an all white head, right? Did, what? What? What are you talking about? There, you think there's two retics in here? No, there wouldn't be, huh? That would be bananas. Oh my gosh, so. man. That is so insane. Guys, and I'm sure you guys already follow all her stuff, but if you don't, please go check her out, Deadly Tarantula Girl, on Instagram, with Facebook, and YouTube, man. And TikTok. Oh, you're on TikTok? Yeah. Dude, I'm not on TikTok. Well, you, you need to get with the program. Dude, man, I need to get with some of these right here. I know. Rita, thank you very much, Sissy, for showing that stuff off, man. And I see you have uh, that guy right there. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> So we're on a mission here real quick. I guess that um, Santiago's wife Sarah has been a little um, a little salty about me not putting her on the vlogs. A little salty. Yeah, because of Jared, but we're about to make it up for her. I hate to just interrupt, but I was talking to Jared and I am so sorry. Like, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I don't, I, don't, I want to do this real quick. Sarah, you want to do the uh, my uh, outro real quick with me? I don't even know how. Okay, we're about to. You have an outro? Yeah, do I, I know you? Yeah, outro. Come on, Sarah. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize. I never did anything on purpose, ever. So, you know, the show was amazing. As always, you guys are amazing. I love this place. As always, I appreciate all the support. Till next time, throw them peace out, Sarah.